Listen, son. After 121 years of slavery, after countless struggles for our independence, our nation is divided once again. While Regency Council bickers among themselves, Paul is turning against Paul, brother against brother, republicans against monarchists, nationalists against syndicalists, and in the shadows. Marshal Sikorsky and his army are waiting for a chance to seize power for themselves. Our country is in a great peril. Crows and ravens will soon be circling over us again. In the east, Russian Republic is on the verge of collapse. In the south, Austrian Empire is crumbling as we speak. Reds in the west are arming themselves for the next Weltkrieg. German Empire and their Reichspack puppets are unable to act paralyzed by the economic crisis. I do not worry though, I remember it from the stories that my grandfather and father used to tell me. I saw it with my own eyes in the streets during revolution and in the trenches during the Weltkrieg. I experienced it myself when I was commanding Polish Corps in Russia, because this nation was born in fire. There is still much to be done, countless Poles are suffering under the foreign yoke. But no matter the chosen path, no matter what future God chosen for us, I know one thing. Poland is an idea. An idea of freedom. The idea of freedom above divisions, above origin, above religion. An idea for defense of which each of us is ready to die. I do not worry because I know that every foreign soldier who dares to set foot in our kingdom will set its foot in hell. That's why the idea is still alive. Poland is not yet lost, so long as we still live! Honest man. Thank you, Govin. I don't read my comments. Why will I read them, man? Kazarek with ducks. Okay, let's, let's read comments. I never do that. Tommy's hairline is starting to transition towards Alex Dor The fuck? My hairline is fine. What do you mean, my hairline? Show me my hairline. Oh, no, hey. What? I have a beautiful hairline. Baslava, Bas, how is that the top comment, you fucking idiots? And then you wonder why I don't watch this shit? What do you mean hairline? Look at this, huh? Beautiful. What? This is per. Tommy's beard is the color of weak old frying oil. What? <sighs> Tommy looks like the dude to say gracias to the waiter at the Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't have to do this, but I bet Tommy isn't even real ginger and he dyes his hair to collect the disability payment. Tommy's so old, he probably doesn't even know how to find the comments to read them. <laughs> That's not true! What the fuck? Tommy doesn't know Pepe. Tommy doesn't know. What? Puff, all you see is Tommy doesn't know Pepe laugh. Tommy doesn't know Pepe laugh. This is some good content. All I gotta say is that it's disappointing how Tommy doesn't know. Makoni said something in the first seconds of the latest video. Watch the intro of the latest video and you will understand. Watch the beginning, it makes all sense. You weren't supposed to tell me. Snitches get stitches. Sometimes snitches get stitches. That is genius. <laughs> what? Oh, that's why people are talking shit about me. Oh, fucking plot twist, man. Jesus, I thought people actually are toxic. No, you love me. Wow, you just snitched so hard on 300,000 people, bro. Holy shit, you're a traitor. It only worked for two videos, man. Because Twitch chat fucked up. Twitch chat fucked up YouTube boys. Thank you for one year, Jacob. It isn't over yet, brothers. 
We have to do something about the snitches in Twitch chat. We can't let them get away with what they have done to us. So the time has come for us, the YouTube boys, to declare war on Twitch chat and get our revenge for what they have done. They are wanted men and we will not rest until justice has been served. So officially, this is a declaration of war to Twitch chat and we will not be satisfied until they admit that us, the YouTube viewers are better than them. Fight, my brothers. Post a comment and protest this snitching that they have committed. What's needed now is a targeted, relentless, counter-terrorism campaign against Twitch chat that combines the YouTube boys, air power, contributions from allies and partners, and more support to forces that are fighting these terrorists on the ground. And welcome back to Kaiser Records of Iron Force Story Mode. Gentlemen, you have clicked on the right channel. Yes, epic Fortnite drops, epic aim, epic anything. Not right here. This is the crazy strategic gaming channel where we are acting like we have an alternative role to history because we are fucking idiots. Let's have some fun with the new game. Select the country and play Poland, man. You guys talked a lot about Poland. So let's have some fun. Uh, you guys said this uh, nation is one of the craziest stories. Uh, I hope you didn't lie. Obviously, it's uh, geopolitically very, very interesting in a way that you are right next to the winner of World War One. You're right next to big boy Germany, Wilhelm II, who wants to heavily influence you. You're not his puppet and shit, but I think there's events where they influence you. So, yeah, you're just surrounded by Germany and his puppets. I mean, look at that. And Austria, Hungary is going to form here. So, goddamn, what the fuck are we going to do? Poland was re-established by the Central Powers in formerly Russian lands after over a century of foreign rule. Competition between Austria and Germany for influence in Poland, both during and since the Weltkrieg, has left the Regency Council unable to perform its principal duty. Selection of a new monarch. The so-called Eternal Regency Lords, indecisively over, a, indecisively over a Poland, which remains... What? Much the same as it was before the Belt Okay. After the end of the World War, Germany wasted no time giving favorable economic access to German corporations operating inside of our country. Now, German corporate interests control much of Poland's economy and suck our nation dry. Ugh, fucking Germans. Okay, we're gonna try some industrial shit on a 60 and pluck. Ah, uh, we have some industry. It's not that bad. Uh, this all looks fucking trash. XP. The main thing about story mode Kaiserreich point four is obviously the focus tree. First of all, let's take a look at that fucking focus tree, gentlemen. The great debate is happening. Mm. The Regency Council will attempt to elect a new king of Poland, as they have done for the past twenty years. Well, let's just see what happens, man. Let's see if we can find a position here between Russia, Germany, and Austria-Hungary. Let's see if Poland can rise and become what it needs to be. The Polish language scares me, honestly. Uh, I can't just agree on that, man. That shit is like... There was always Polish workers in the supermarket. They always say, Dziękuję, Dziękuję. You say Dziękuję. And I felt like they were fucking making jokes of me. Like I'm saying I'm a bitch or something. And true Polish king of von Habsburg, a Lithuanian king or German king? You could make a poll what the people choose, but uh, it's pretty obvious what you guys are choosing. The Warsaw Tribute is asking people of Poland what they think. Your opinion, Kurba. Like Monday hits Poland. I only get minus 50 construction speed, which is very good. I don't lose any consumer goods and stuff. The League of Eight Promises to get one, the Kuimtang. Kuimtang never these, yeah? The economy fails. Germany is in a heavy economic crisis, and our dependence on them economically means that our own economy will be crippled. Our farmers are making no money due to the large decrease in prices of agricultural products, and factories are preparing to fire thousands of workers. It seems that this summer will be hard for the Polish people, both in the cities and in the country. Ooh, send police to the countryside to defend the kingdom or call out the Republic of Poland. I believe in this kingdom. In the wake of Germany's quick economic meltdown, many of the rail mineral monopolies that have been feeding off the Polish land have found themselves bankrupt. With Germany in complete disarray, now will seem like our best opportunity to seize their holdings and throw of Germany economic strangle of Poland, seize their assets. Remove all middle European effects, remove German Dominance. Germany gets an event. I get 10 PP. I get Polish King 1. 45%. I get 10% production efficiency and 10% consumer goods back. That's big, man. Poland economy back. The council is distracted. Non-die-off. 
the most recent debate to enthrall the members of the Regency Council has to do with whether or not the future King of Poland needs to be at least as tall as the last King of Poland. So has to be more imposing in stature. True progress seems as far off as ever. That that seems so American. But I hate this meaningless. What? The fuck cares? Fuck dumb shit. As tension mounts in the halls of Europe, the Regency Council has been hotly debating whether or not they should increase the size of the desks. <laughs> fuck this council. Who cares, you fucks? A local nationalist leader, Adam Doboszynski, decided to mobilize this branch of the Patriots for Saving Poland organization. A march through Poland and scream. I was about to scream a Polish football team, but who do they have? Like Warsaw Kra That's fucking unknown shit, man. I don't know a single football team from Poland, man. I know they have crazy hooligans. Send them the army to arrest everyone involved in this. They are in the Europa League? Oh, well, that's... Ah, Legia Warsaw. Yeah, Legia Warsaw. Yes, I know them. I know them. But they're not that big. Euro League shaming. Come on. Euro League is like fucking... Like the adults sit at the table and the children sit on their own children table. And Europa League is children table. Champions League is adult table. Come on. Solutions for our immense problems. Now, we face two crises, a weak economy and a crisis of authority caused by the former. The police and the army are having serious problems keeping... This is Russia 2021. The Regency Council must elect a new king now. The government collapses, gets chaos, invite the military to form a new government. That's so cool, man. You have so many decisions. I want to vote a king, though. Lithuanians and the Commonwealth. Hey, 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 hey. The Lithuanians have declared... A renewed interest in recreating the Commonwealth. While in the past, the Commonwealth was a major power in Europe and eventually was destroyed by Russia, Austria, and Prussia. Because of this, some people have said we should forget the Commonwealth and instead start the election of a king. What should we do? Ah, they want me to vote the Lithuanian king to bring the Commonwealth back. PLC gives you a giant focus tree. I agree. Oh god, what does that mean? Igor Lewandowski! <laughs> Sadly, Lewandowski! Is that his dad? Holy shit, man. Your son is gonna shoot a lot of goals, man. Lewandowski is about to break the record in German League, man. He's doing very well. For over 20 years, Poland has not had a king. However, another election by the recent council may finally change that. We have made an agreement with Lithuania to elect King Mendok III. However, the other powers of the world might take offense to such a move. But restoring the Commonwealth might be fucking big, man. That might be very big. Gentlemen, you guys voted for the Polish king, but now you're getting fucked over because of politics, man. Thank you so much, dude. I kind of think electing Mendok III will be a move to show that Poland and Lithuania are reunited and we're standing against the world. We're sucking no one's dick. We're not a German puppet. We are our own thing. I have chosen the king of fucking Lithuania, gentlemen. Mendok III. Mendok III has been elected the new king of Poland. Now, he has to make a decision that is on his and everyone else's mind. If Poland Lithuania should recreate the Commonwealth, long live the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh damn, Daniel! Oh, is that the new focus? That's the new focus tree. Yeah. Oh shit! I got love. Oh, ooh. I'm actually a fan. Gentlemen, praise the day for Poland and Lithuania reunited once more. <laughs> Lithuania was a member of the Reichspakt Alliance. Poland was not. With the combination of our two countries as one, the question remains on whether or not the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth will remain in the alliance or attempt to weasel their way out from Germany's shadow. One of the first actions the new Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth must take is to elect the Prime Minister to lead the government under our king. Then not the first. However, in the excitement of forming a new nation and the political chaos it entails, there have been many calls to allow the people to vote on the Prime Minister rather than having him appointed. Let the people vote. I'm letting the people vote. Oh, the Chindesha becomes ruling party. Oh, that's that's way too fucking democratic. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm the boss here. Fuck you. I love democracy. I love the Republic. Uh, Naruto, bitch. <laughs> His name is Naruto. <laughs> Wait, I want that guy. I want Naruto to be my prime minister. I'm taking Naruto. Fuck all that shit. I choose Naruto. Dude, he's gonna do Kagebunchi no Jutsu, we take over the world. The head of the army. Oh god, so much happening. With the formation of the new Polish Lithuanian uh, Commonwealth, our political status and the Reichspakt alliance is unclear. While Lithuania was a member, Poland was not. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Get 100 PP, I leave the Reichspakt, 
And Germany realizes we don't not want to join them. The Commonwealth stands alone. I like that, baby. Steel factories. Let's build an economy for three sifts here. Oh, mwah. And even more. Five sifts. Oh, I need that. I need that shit. I need to build an economy, man. A big, big economy. Language question. Uh, the government will be bilingual. If I choose the Polish language, the Lithuanians are going to feel like... Because ah! she's oh, What the fuck is this? Leader of the Lithuanian nationalist has recently come into the spotlight for his increasingly nationalist and pro-Lithuanian views. Oh, can we just unite a country without anyone? Dude, I mean, this is the world, right? Thank you, Redman. Whatever you do, there will always be people fucking complaining. My country matters more than yours. Imagine people could overcome this shit, that they always think their culture and country is so important. We could all just come together and achieve greatness. Like, I always, I know this is very polemic and maybe very dumb. I always felt that way about Yugoslavia. Like, they all fuck each other because they have different cultures, even though they're all... They're just fucking humans and they're fucking the same in the end. Oh, come on, man. Um, and they're all fucking each other. Yugoslavia falls apart. And now you guys are fucking weak countries that need European tourism and EU money, man. Like, why not just stay together, man, you know? No, because you're all fucking... Yeah, that's pretty true. That's true. and Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. I mean... That's true. Yeah, that's true. Let's get the Mush de Jesus Seal CKM Vujis 25 Mush de Jesus Vujis 18. It means grenade launcher in Polish. Yeah. Vujis means grenade launcher. And Vujis means rocket launcher. And Vujis means tank. Good, nice humor, Tommy, man. You're the funniest guy on Twitch. <laughs> Please subscribe, man. <laughs> Okay, story mode is starting in a second. I'm done with economy. Choosing Warsaw or Vilnius as the seat of power will greatly upset the other whole nation. It's time to build a new capital. I like that. I like that. Let's build a new capital. To unite the people. With the rebirth of the Commonwealth, we must decide where our capital should be. Historically, the Commonwealth was based in Warsaw, an option favored by the Poles. However, the Lithuanians argued that Vilnius could also be used. The intense arguments between the Poles and the Lithuanians have left us with no choice but to compromise. The idea of a new capital has gained popular support recently and has taken hold in the minds of the wider republic. All that is left now is for us to pick what it should be. And what, what's connecting the world? I can't see it. Well, wouldn't it be the best because it unites the both? This feels like a trick by developers. This is very Polish, this is very Lithuanian, and Belostok is just in the middle, man. Here we go, man. I have a new capital, boys. Build up the new capital. One SIF, one infrastructure. Okay, I'm taking care of bureaucracy, solve cultural tensions. So right now we're just making the country great again, man. We're just making everybody happy. I'm getting political power. This country is growing. Mm. This country is growing and growing and growing, man. Uh, and here is the 14 fours. Let's go. I mean. You can peacefully do stuff, which gives you defense on core and more justification time, but you can make a referendum to take Ukraine and Galicia. But after that, you're fucked. But you have reversed the Polish partition. Minus 33% justification time for the rest of the game, which is fucking sweet. I claim a lot of stuff and I get cool decisions. Seize Polish Galicia, recover Bresh and crush Germany. That sounds so cool. And then a war goal on Russia. I don't know if I'm ready yet, but I want to check it out. Session is likely. Oh, the Elders Ultimatum. Oh, World War II, baby. It's World War II. Okay. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. And we have Russia and World War II. I could backstep Germany, but I think Germany is way too strong for me. Wait, does that mean Germany is cut off, literally? Germany is completely cut off from all his puppets. Hmm. Hmm. To be honest, I'm a bit bored and I want to try. Here we go. In 10 days, I'm claiming Ukraine and it's going to trigger war. Oh, they actually have the border. So Germany is going to join? Yeah, there you go. I'm in a big war. Again, I don't think this is technically very clever, but I'm just too bored, man. I want to play. I need to make this uh, more narrow. Well, welcome to World War II, baby. Uh, there it is. Should be 
fine. Let's here. I got two. Ah, uh, what a mess. But I knew this would happen. But yeah, I just, I just want to stand in the whole time and do nothing. Uh, now these guys come and it's getting very overwhelming. It's not like the Russians are in the east. Who cares, right? I just don't have enough troops for all this bullshit. If Russia could just fucking... There we go. He's almost in Kiev. And then I can focus on Germany. Can't let this one happen. Also can't let this one happen. Can't let this one happen. Can't let this one happen. I like these moments. These are the moments where I like Hoi 4 still. Where I'm really... Like, I like when I'm in a situation where I'm about to die. I like that. I like the challenge. Okay, get the fucking... Get the kill here. Get the kill here. Russia is so useless. They're not pushing anything. That's AI for you, baby. I'm very all in on this. Come on. Yeah, there you go. There you fucking go. There you fucking go. Good shit. Good shit. This should be it. Good, man. I wouldn't think that would be this successful here. Kiev is fallen. Ukraine not dying, man. Take the city here. And that is Ukraine. Wait. Austria joined. GG, I'm dead. Yeah, this is... Being completely... Yeah, Austria just killing me. No, thank you, dude. They right Russia. Just fucking die now. Come, come on, man. This shit out, man. So two pockets to, to finish and then we're done. And then what do I do there? I mean, I'm dead almost. Ball of Warsaw? Oh yeah. It's just too much, boys. I even just got overrun because of the air. It's, it's just too much. Kind of saved most. Nobody died. One guy got overrun. Watch those. Dude, it's just way too much to handle. Russians are coming in slowly. Romania's with me? Seems like it. Yeah, Germany's on a lot of pressure. I just need to hold. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, come on, hold this, man. It can't be that hard. Desperate defense. And relentless attacks everywhere. If I could stabilize the front, it looks like good in the east now. Oh, it's so much pressure. Bigger. Yeah, look, look at this. This guy is joking. This guy doesn't give a fuck about the, the East Front. That's big the game, issue, big game, big game. Red Army's doing great, but East Front, fuck, you know. Struggling to Danzig. Like, Red Army is having so much responsibility that this Green Army should be able to fuck do something now. Green Army just seems so trashy. Still fun. I mean, look how many divisions! And it's not Austrians, it's fucking Dutch. Whatever the fuck that is, Germans, everything on the fucking roster. Taking me more, thank you for telling me, man. I felt like them. Oh, oh, yeah, and they're taking Vienna, man. Austria, we almost gone here. Watch this! Taking lots back, man. Oh, they took Warsaw, well, it's gonna be encircled. Here we go, man, we're taking the Polish lands. Road to Berlin, baby. Dude, they're done here, baby, they're done. It's a Fuyamiche! Fuyamiche, that means go to Berlin, man. I think the road to Berlin oh looks very old. Oh, I'm spreading oh like an idiot, but opportunity is so juicy. Berlin is close. Yeah, that's how I feel, Chad. I know it's annoying. That's how I feel. I thought, fuck oh yet, here. What's this thing with you? Hallo. Amos jetzt. Sticker. <laughs> Come on, man. Danlin, don't do this to me. Take Berlin, baby. Okay. Let's go. Come on, I need you guys to push. Fall of Lissabon. Fall of Berlin, baby. The end of World War II. And it will be Polish people. Germany totally not dead, by the way. That's for sure. He will not be dead here. He will totally not be dead. Laps of the ice pocket. Oh! Oh! Any shit. Now Russia gets all of this. Let's say this was an historical peace conference. Russia will demand a lot of Ukrainian turf or... Well, there's obviously a lot of tensions. Back to me, I take obviously Galicia. So Ser Serbia takes Illyria. I'd say Serbia like this. 
or socialist republic of italy should obviously take this that's just fair it would be unfair otherwise i think historically like polish puppet russian puppet italian puppet that'd be fair i feel like oh, shit you guys are all gonna complain i don't give a fuck you guys will always complain whatever i do been in germany and oh god poor old Giamani. thank you anatic there it is dude there it is well, obviously, the communist uh, faction is the strongest faction in the world, and they will really have many demands on me, so I think that's in me, and the rest, this goes all to France, and they will make a communist puppet. That seems very fair. That was World War II, man. Time for the Cold War, baby. Ay 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 ay. Let's see how the world will shape in a second. Ay ay ay. That's uh, cool, man. I like this. Looks fucking oh, yes. epic. And I would think in the storyline, it would make sense that I approach Russia, like I'm friends with Russia, and we would fight communism. Then I, I think me attacking Russia makes no sense. We literally bled the same blood on the battlefield in World War II, man, with friends. I don't think that makes any sense. I look beautiful. I, I like playing like Peace Conferences. Makes you have a cool-looking map. It's a bit dumb, though, that I can't join the Moscow Accord. But that makes for such a good Cold War. Okay, I made a great nation here, man. Dude, I like playing like Peace Conference. It allows for so much more roleplay. Because you make the map look good. I'm the World War Free buffer zone. <laughs> who will win? What do you think? What do you, who do you think? This is so interesting. Who, imagine this is real life, right? Who do you think will win Cold War? On one side, you have Germany, France, UK, Scandinavia, Italy, probably Spain integrated. On the other side, Russia, Poland, the Balkan, and USA. The USA would be... Depends on USA, yeah. USA would be Democratic USA. On the Dr. Smack Arthur would be on my side. Very interesting. They want because it's Cold War. True. I could just roleplay now that I'm building a bunch of fucking nukes and then I stop the game. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to call it you though, man. It's just... I'm just gonna build an army now that's good enough and then I just fucking... Blah, 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 blah. Kill everything, you know. I, that doesn't really interest me. I think we created a cool story. A cool storyline. I think it will be open to the viewer to imagine how this will play out. I think I'm gonna call it you, man. Also, an interesting thing in the story will be that the communists and Moscow will fight very hard to influence the king of Poland to shift them to their side. That could be very interesting. And we finished Poland. Yeah. Not that not that epic of a game, but we could create a cool story. In the end, I think we reached limits of Kaiser Reich. And tomorrow, I have a very, very nice uh, goodie for you. We're playing TNO USA. I don't know if you guys don't know what that is. You will see tomorrow, man. In my opinion, the story-wise and roleplay-wise, the greatest the mod for it for tomorrow. You say Team O. I see you tomorrow, boys. Thank you so much for the subs, donations, and all that. Fuck you know whatever the streamers always say, man. Press the follow button. Check out Twitter. Buy some shorts down below. And in the end, don't drop off too much. Like once a day, it's fine. All the best. Bye. Let's play with Walker.